Many of our butterflies that share our summer with us hibernate as adults. There's several species that do that. Uh, the peacock butterfly, the comma, and the brimstone are three species. And they choose quite unusual places sometimes to hibernate. An old log pile, for instance. And in this case, inside a water tank. It's cool, which is ideal. It's dry, which is also perfect for them. And they spend the winter with their wings closed up tight, ready to fly about in February and March after the winter's passed. So those delicate insects like that have feasted on the ivy, pollen and nectar, and that sees them through the winter months, almost without moving, unless they're disturbed, then they'll open their wings up and expose the eyes on the top if it's a peacock butterfly and make a noise like peeling sellotape to frighten any predators. The rest of the time, fast asleep all through the winter months, just like I'd like to be. I've come into Fox's Grove at Caister St Edmunds. It's 30 acres of quite ancient woodland here and the wood is filled with sweet chestnut trees. It's an introduced species, probably introduced by the Romans who brought it with them wherever they went. And right beside us here we have the Roman capital of Eastern Britain. Venta Isonorum is the Latin name of the town and uh, the Romans were here for two or three hundred years and they brought chestnuts here, sweet chestnuts, as an important source of food. Uh, we've found charcoal remains of some of the excavations that have been done at the town just beside us here, but the sweet chestnuts have remained here and self-seeded in this area of woodland and this is a time of the year in autumn when they cascade onto the ground and instead of being an important food stuff for us, they're now uh, important food for all the animals and mammals that live here. Squirrels, dogs, <laughs> and of course, badgers as well. And this is the time of the year, the badgers gorge themselves on this massive crop of sweet chestnuts here and fatten up for the winter. And they don't actually hibernate, but they will spend most of the time underground in the forthcoming season as winter approaches. So there's around 15 badgers right underneath where I'm sitting and I managed to get some nighttime footage of them feeding on the chestnuts here on the woodland floor. They're fantastic mammals and it's lovely to have them here at the farm. So sweet chestnuts, an introduced species and a really, really good crop this year because we've had a lovely mild summer, lots of rain as well and that's about as big as they get in our country. So wonderful to see them. Mm -hmm. 